why do you need a Dropbox account? That is the question that many of my clients ask me. And many of them already have one. But they don't know what to do with it. Uh, but if you need help on how to set up, you will find some instructions in the blog post associated with this video. But what is the point of having a Dropbox account if you don't know what to do with it? Uh, you don't understand why people keep telling you that you need to have one. So let's see if I can make a difference here. Do you remember this? Yes, floppy disks. They were so handy. You can, uh, uh, you could put information in it. You could write what it was. They are so was really really easy to carry around until they become too small. So they come out with this, the CD room, and they were great. You could put more information in it but was not as easy as the floppy disk to change the information, to replace information. So they invent the flash drive or the USB pen or USB flash drive. There's so many names and so different shapes that these ones can have. They are really handy, they are small, you can put loads of information on it. But if you are like me, then you don't know in which one you have the information that you are looking for, you need it and you don't know where it is. So I was thrilled when I found out a system called Dropbox. And Dropbox is really to imagine a, a file box that is on the cloud. So you can carry with you around everywhere you go, everywhere that you have an internet connection, you can access to this Dropbox. Everywhere from a computer, from an iPad or another tablet, from your smartphone, if you have an internet connection, you have access to it. And the other great thing about Dropbox is how easy it is to use. Because when you sign up to it, uh, you really, they will install in your computer, you will stay with, uh, I'm going to sign in. So after sign up, you will have a username, a password, and then you can sign in to it uh, from any of the devices that you work with. And then you have this uh, box where you can put folders. And the great thing that I truly love about this is that there is like a clone of it in your desktop. So if you have a Mac who's a lead, when you install the Dropbox app, it comes up here in the top, in the PC usually is in the bottom or in favorites. And if you click in that symbol that you start to recognize as the Dropbox symbol, you have given two options. You can go to a Dropbox folder that is your uh, box on your computer or you can go to the dropbox.com that takes you to the website. So it is very easy and they are like twins. Everything that you change in one will reflect in that, that they are mirror images of it. And the great thing is that it works like any other folder in your computer. You just have to drag things there if you want. I'm just going to open here my desktop to have something to drag there. I want to put something there. I'm just going to go, uh, for instance, a recording that I want to share. I go there or I want to keep to access later. I just drag to that folder. It appears like, let's see if I can put this bigger. Um, it appears this blue thing means that it's syncing with one in the cloud. So, and then when it sync, when there is the copy in the cloud, I will get this green uh, tick mark that is sync. And then if I'm somewhere that I need to access that, I go to the web version that we can see it here. And you can see that now is there. So simple as that. So, and you can create folders, you can organize things. And then if you want to take something out, you just drag it out like any other thing and I'm going to drag it out to the desktop like this and you see disappears from there and in a couple of minutes will disappear already disappear here from my list another great thing that I love about Dropbox besides how easy it is to use and I use this every time is that 
you can share folders. You can notice that you have here in this one some folders and you see the same here that you have these like people images of people inside. That means that that folder I'm sharing it with a colleague. Um, and if I, I can say I share this folder and everything that I put in this folder, I know that I'm sharing with that person. I also can share an individual file. So it's really handy if you are working in a project together or I, like you see, I have here a project with, uh, uh, with my clients here uh, that I have a folder for each one that I only share with that specific client and we can see we can have the shared documents there in relation to the security that is another question that people ask me about how secure is this system the dropbox is quite any system nowadays in the cloud with the dimension of dropbox they are quite safe everything depends if a person can get hold of your password and username, they can access to the Dropbox. So you have to give it a username and mainly a password that is not easy for somebody else to find out what is the password. But that is like anything on the cloud. The security weakness has more to do with you than with most of the systems. Of course, if somebody, if there are hackers that can go into, into the system, security systems of banks, they can go into security systems of Dropbox. But the reality is that it's things on the clouds usually are more secure than things in your computer. Because when we have an internet connection, and even if we put firewalls in our modem and all that, the security is not as robust and we don't have the money to invest to create a really uh, a system like these companies have. So I really trust the system. It's not, it can happen like in anything, but I trust that it's a very safe system. I even have, when I travel, I do have a file with backup of my important documents. Uh, because it's something that I, if I need to access them on the road, they are there. Let me just show you how easy it is to share something. This one is share, but you see, if I right click on it, I have several options, share Dropbox list, view it in Dropbox, that means on the web, or share this folder and it allow me to share that specific folder. For the PC users, I really advise you when you are sharing links and folders to go to the online um, uh, view because it's easier to do these things, in my opinion, in the online view. In the Mac, it's more or less the same. But imagine this one, if I go here and I can see here, so I right click on it, I have these options and I share folder options. I can see with whom I'm sharing that in the, if I want to invite more people and if I want to take somebody out, I can do it also here. In this case, this folder was created by my colleague and she shared with me, so I cannot take her out. But if I go to another uh, uh, file that I create, like for instance, this one, I'm the one that uh, is the owner and I can uh, de delete the access to the other person or make it the owner or invite more people to it. So very, very simple. If I want to share a specific file, right click on it and I have here share link. I go there to the share link and I can uh, paste the email or just get the link and I stay with a copy of the link that I can send an email. So very, very easy to use and to make it a really a great tool for us. And if you want to find more about how to use these tools, you can look at my blog. You go to annamalikian.com forward slash blog. I have loads of resources in my blog with videos and screenshots. You can take advantage of it. And of course, explore other resources in my website. I'm Anna Malikian, an elite book yourself solid certified coach who loves to empower coaches and consultants to overcome online marketing and technology challenge and to help you to get more clients. If you want to learn more, you can subscribe to my YouTube video or of course visit my website at annamalikian.com.
Com.